It is time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. A partial building collapse has caused some damage on Monroe Avenue in Rochester. It's not the first time this has happened either. Elijah Westbrook live in Rochester with a reaction from the driver whose car was smashed by that falling debris. Elijah, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Well, I want to give you guys a closer look at the aftermath from this partial building collapse here on Monroe Avenue. As you can see, uh, this is the rubble that uh, is left here in front of this store on Monroe Avenue. Presumably from the roof, uh, there was a uh, brick-like structure that was standing on top of the roof there. And uh, we're working with the fire department to determine how and why this uh, all took place. Now, luckily, no one was injured in this. But as you can imagine, people in this area were probably very startled when this took place. Um, as you can imagine, eyewitnesses were quite startled again, and uh, we did get a chance to speak with Theodore Johnston, who says uh, he was eating in a bar across the street from where this all took place, and he said someone had rushed into the bar and said bricks had fallen on his car. He tells us that he is thankful to be alive. Now, once again, we are in the process of trying to speak with the Rochester Fire Department to determine how this all took place, and once we get an answer for you, we will bring you the latest developments. Mark, we need answers today on that one. Elijah, thank you. Lehigh Station Road in Henrietta remains closed between East Henrietta Road and Masthead Way this morning. This as crews repair damaged utility poles and wires downed after the driver of a dump truck left the bed of that truck in the upright position. It happened around 10.30 yesterday morning. We're told some 50 customers remain without power in the area. The woman charged in connection with the Livingston County manhunt is due in court today. You're seeing 49-year-old David Morgan, the target of that manhunt. Police say he pointed a gun at a police officer during a traffic stop last Wednesday, then ran into a cornfield. He is still on the run. Meanwhile, Morgan's girlfriend, 40-year-old Sandra Brown, will be in court today for a felony hearing. Police say she was in the car with Morgan and interfered with that traffic stop by pointing her cell phone at the officer as if it were a gun. Anyone with information about Morgan's whereabouts should call 911. Durand Eastman Beach closed again yesterday. It was the third time in a week Charlotte Beach was closed as well. We're told rain can cause the creeks and streams to flood, emptying into the Genesee River and eventually the lake, stirring up sediment and creating water clarity issues. The Monroe County Public Health Department says it can also create a health concern, raising the levels of bacteria in the water. Josh, uh, another muggy day on tap. Wouldn't necessarily call it a beach day. Yeah, not exactly a beach day, but there is some hazy sunshine out there right now, though you probably wouldn't cool off too much heading up to the lake as we have that southerly breeze in place and a tropical atmosphere. You can see the view here from Pinnacle Hill shows some of that uh, hazy sun out there right now. And you know what? I think it's going to be with us here through the morning, but that will just be fuel to the fire uh, for some uh, potential showers and thundery downpours later on. The rain that came through in the overnight well to our east, but that boundary will probably drift to the west again uh, by later tonight and into tomorrow. So there are more showers and thundery downpours in the forecast. But for the time being, I think we're in pretty good shape here through the morning with, uh, again, some of that sunshine around and uh, temperatures as a result will climb into the mid-80s. It's later on into the afternoon and evening that that sun will actually uh, help to uh, basically trigger a couple of thunderstorms and a couple of those could contain some downpours. So keep an eye to the sky. Sort of a carbon copy of yesterday in that regard, right? Yes, after three or four o'clock especially. Great.